Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Two high-profile, high-calibre teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive match-up, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. We have already started here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Bernardo Silva. He's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass and he's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate and that will be a standout for this team over the course, I can assure you. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. De Paul. No, he wasn't being taken in by that trickery. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Gets it back. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, super! Bernardo Silva! And the keeper passes the test. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Fiddles it through. Lo Celso provides an outlet. It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. Jota. Oh, good read. Speculative strike. Pepe. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone, and we still await the first goal. Gets a good foot in there.
Well seen, saw that coming. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Cristiano Ronaldo. Interesting ball. Going through. He's found a way past. And it's played forward. And now the breakaway. Jota. Lovely bit of skill. That's a fabulous ball. And it's hoisted clear. Showing good feet. Danilo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. Big chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Talia Fico. And it's Bernardo Silva. Gets away from his opponent. And Bernardo Silva! Keeper pulls up a fine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. with himself Pepe gathers from the goal kick Bernardo Silva and that's sprayed out wide Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Portugal draw first blood here. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Sends it forward. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's left his man. He can get that clear. Foul, free kick's been given. Ronaldo finds himself offside. were asked but he's given the answers 
Michel Moutinho. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. Real chance! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Forward it goes. Bernardo Silva. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. That gets things going for the second half. Argentina don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first. It's Messi! Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Should have done better, and he knows it. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Danilo Pereira. And it's Messi. Has a goal! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and it set up the opportunity. That's great effort. Rui Patricio with the clearance. Messi. Good spot, he's seen the run. Here's the delivery. Gets up to head it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, this is simple. The supply is to be admired. The defending is to be admonished. Guerrero. That's a waste. La de Portugal de can't partido. breathe again. Just. Yeah, they, they showed a vulnerability until the move was stifled. That'll have stirred a little concern. Looking for the runner, and it's got through. Argentina are definitely going about this the right way. This is a really front-footed approach. Spot on, Peter. And here's Messi. Forwards and with intent. Now the counter. Argentina can break now. A bit of finesse. Ruben Diaz with the clearance. And it's Paredes. And he's cut it out. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
Martinez looks to clip it forward. Messi. Rui Patricio catches it safely. And it's Messi. Jota. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Gets his pass away. He's got away. Bernardo Silva was ultimately thwarted there, but it took a few of them to stop him. Oh, I was on the edge of my seat then. He just took on one too many. Very nicely done. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. Oh, he's caught him in or out. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. And that's going to be a booking. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Argentina with this to equalise. And Rui Patricio somehow saves it. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. rather wayward. Messi really drove at the heart of that defence. Incisive, quick, but not clinical. Moved on forwards. Guerrero. Oh, and he's broken the line here! Guerrero plays it in. When it's delivered early like that, defenders just can't get themselves set. Now the finish! Oh, the ball's run, great hit! More pressure on the opposition goal. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Se está realizando un cambio. Portugal are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. There's a good bit of... And the shot! And it's in! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. And it has to be said, an absolute gift. Portugal could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see their more experienced lads step up to the plate now. There will be a throw-in. 
Portugal making another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Cambio. Argentina Número 7 Número 20 Cooley does it Pumped Entra into the area Número Armani 20. is there to take Di Maria Pepe Número positions 24. himself well and cuts it out Se agregarán 3 minutos al tiempo reglamentario Fourth official showing that there will be 3 minutes of added time Room for a shot. And Bernardo Silva! Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Argentina beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly. At the business end, they just can't close the deal. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.